Hello everyone, welcome to your 25th C++ Cube game tutorial. Let's go ahead and look at our draw board. We've already made the main menu, and now I want to make the game menu. So I want uh, basically all the general user interface elements, like this text, this text, and this text. And then these two panels and the hex board in the middle, we've already done that. Uh, so here's a little plan I, that I quickly drew up. So basically we want this right we want this gui two panels and three texts so i'm going to give uh, first of all i'm going to give the game class a draw panel me uh, member function and this member function will be responsible for drawing a single panel wherever you tell it to so it's going to take some parameters i'm also going to give the game class a draw gui member function this member function will use the draw panel member function so basically draw the entire GUI. So it will use the draw panel here, and then it will use draw panel here. And in addition to that, it will draw text here, here, and here. Okay, and then furthermore, we're gonna give the game class two additional attributes, player one cards and player two cards. These are just uh, basically lists of hexes that the player can place. So if you remember, we have a bunch of hexes on the left and a bunch of hexes on the right that the player can place on the board. Um, okay, so we've taken care of that. Now, we're also going to create a create new card member function that will create a new hex for a player and add it to one of these lists. And we're going to have a draw cards member function that will actually traverse through these lists and actually display the cards on the screen. Okay, so that's an overview of our plan for this tutorial. Let's go ahead and jump right in and start by implementing the draw panel and the draw GUI member functions of the game class. So we'll go in here, game class. Let's make these private. So we'll draw panel. Okay, and there's a couple attributes, a couple of arguments that this member function takes. So an X and a Y position for, uh, to uh, represent the location that you want the panel to be at. It will take a width and a height, and it will take a color and an opacity. This is basically how transparent you want the panel to be. So we'll go ahead and add the definition. Okay, and we'll go ahead and start the implementation. So we'll do draws a panel uh, at the specified location with the specified properties. Alrighty, let's go ahead and create the rectangle. Q graphics rect item. We'll call it panel new item. Oh, okay. And we're going to basically put it at the X and at the Y that we specified. And we're going to give it the width and the height that we specified. And then we're going to, and that's it. Okay. And now let's use a brush to change the uh, appearance of this Q graphics rect item. So create a brush. Okay, brush dot set style qt solid pattern not line okay brush dot set color um, to whatever color we passed in and now let's actually set the panels brush to the brush that we just created and let's also set its opacity this member function of a Q graphics item will basically, obviously, it will set the opacity. An opacity is a value between zero and one, describing how uh, untransparent the image is. So I believe higher values means that it's not transparent, and lower values mean it's transparent. So we want it to be whatever opacity was passed in. And uh, finally, let's go ahead and add it to the scene. scene. So we'll add this panel to the scene. Okay, draw panel seems to be good. Now, uh, 
let's go ahead and make the draw GUI member function that will actually use the draw panel to draw these two panels and it will also just draw these three texts. So game class void draw GUI. This won't need any uh, parameters. So add definition. Oh god. Why is it doing this? Let me just quickly get rid of this ugly indenting. It really bothers me a little. Okay, there we go. So let's draw the GUI. Um, what's the first thing? You want to draw the left panel. Okay, uh, so we'll call the draw panel member function that we just created. And uh, so we want it on the left, so 0, 0. It will start at the top left. And then it will be 150 wide and uh, 764, I believe 768. That's how tall my screen is. You can use the height member function to get the height of the screen. That would be a better way, but I'm just going to do it this way. And then we want it to be what color? Dark cyan. Okay. And now let's uh, draw the right panel. And for the right panel, we're going to again call draw panel. And we want it to be placed on the right. So if we do all the way on the right, which is 1024, we won't even see the rectangle. Because if the top left hand corner is all the way on the right, then the image is going to be off the screen. So we want it to be initially there, but we want to shift it back by 150. So we'll do. Uh, Basically, 1,024 minus 150 is 874. So, and then zero on the Y, still, still the same width, 150 pixels, still the same height, and still the same color, because the two panels should be identical in terms of size and color. Okay, now we want to place those three texts. Remember, we have, if we go to our draw board, we have this text, and this text, and this text. So let's go ahead and place those. So place, um, we'll call this one player one text. Okay. So Q graphics text item uh, player one equals new Q graphics text item, and we'll go ahead and call it, uh, make it display the text player one's cards with a uh, colon. Okay, and We'll set the position of this to um, about 25 pixels down and or 25 pixels to the right and be at the very top of the screen. That's what our drawing showed. And then let's go ahead and add item. This is player one text. And we're going to do a similar thing for drawing player two's text. So we'll just change this to player two. Changes to player two's cards, and we want this again to be all the way on the right hand side. So we just we want it to be uh, basically at um, let's see at 874, which is going to be this area. We want it to be at 874 and shift to 25 pixels. So we'll do 874 plus 25, I believe. Let's see if that makes sense. Yep. And then let's add it to the. Okay, and now the last thing is to draw this center text that tells whose turn it is. The thing about um, this this text, let's go look at the draw board. So the thing about this whose turn text is that we're gonna need to change this whenever the player's uh, turns changes. So clearly we have to keep uh, some pointer or some reference to this text object. We're going to uh, basically make it an attribute of the game class. So let's go ahead and go inside the game class and let's add a few attributes. So first of all, we want a string that represents whose turn it is. Q string, call it whose turn, okay, with a little dash or underscore. And then we want an actual Q graphics text item that will be placed on the scene and we'll call this whose turn text. Now let's go ahead and do uh, get whose turn. This will return a Q string telling you whose turn it is. 
and uh, we want also to set whose turn. This member function will set whose turn it is. So let's do get whose turn. It's easy. Return uh, whose turn. That's it. And set whose turn is a little bit more complicated. Um, so, oh, it needs to take a, a Q string player. So it needs to take a string describing whose turn you want it to be. Basically, what we want to do is whose turn, set this first of all to whatever string we pass in. And then we also want to change the text. So we change the internal, so we change the Q string, and then we want to change the Q graphics text item because they're two different things. Um, so we'll do whose turn text is equal to, well, uh, or oh, not that, equal to, no. We're going to set plain text, okay, and we're going to set the plain text to uh, basically whatever player but not just this we wanna also we want a new Q string and then plus the players Q string so this new Q string is basically um, gonna say whose turn uh, okay so whose turn and then plus the player so we're gonna have whose turn and then semicolon space and then the player uh, um, all right so let's continue all right let's go in the game classes draw GUI okay we want to basically uh, place whose turn text okay so we'll do whose turn text is equal to new Q graphics rect I uh, text item and uh, it will a new Q graphics text item, all right. And uh, now we will uh, call set whose turn, and we'll make it Q string player one. So this member function will also change the text uh, of this, so we don't have to do. It. Now we will set the position. to be um, 490, roughly in the middle of the screen, on the x-axis, and on the very top, on the y-axis. Now let's go ahead and add it to the scene. Okay, let's see how this looks. Alrighty. Here it is. So we have the text here, the text here, the text here, and then the two side panels where we're going to draw the cards in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.